for our YC family is NYC Chocolate 7777. And I'm coming in with two response videos, two wonderful videos that I watched today. Um, it was a response video from my sister, one of the loves of my life, Miss Jody Jo, show of love and support tag. And then also from a brand new sister that I'm subscribed to. Brandy, 1525, and she had a weight loss tag. So I'm going to do this video in response to both of these two wonderful videos. All right, so we're going to start off with my gastric bypass journey. This is a response for Brandy, 1525. This is NYC Chocolate 7777. This was probably 232, maybe 240. I don't even know. All I know is that when I started my journey, I was 232 pounds. I have a semi-smile on my face. I don't have many pictures of me at this size because I was not happy. I wasn't satisfied with my quality of life. I wasn't satisfied with the way I was living my life. I just wasn't satisfied. The reason that I decided to have gastric bypass surgery is I was turning 40. I have a five-year-old son who I love. I've been overweight for the past probably 35 plus years. And um, like so many of us, I've gone up and down, up and down, but I could never maintain keeping the weight off. I knew there had to be another way, another option that would allow me the opportunity at changing my life. I started doing research on YouTube and I found my family, you guys. I just celebrated two years of maintenance last Thursday, January the 10th. Um, it's like I've been reborn. And question number one that Brandy asked was, how much weight do you want to lose? Well, I've lost over 105 pounds. At my highest, probably in my lifetime, I was 240, 250. But when I started my actual journey, I was once again 232. Question number two, biggest weight loss battle. I would say my biggest weight loss battle is was, will continue to always be, my love of food. I could stand here before you and say, I love food. I still do love food. But my choices towards the foods that I eat now have changed. I used to be a fast food junkie. Now I hardly touch it. Um, I no longer have that desire. I no longer have that urge, that thirst to, you know, shovel french fries or cheeseburgers or fried chicken or pizza, whatever it may have been that, you know, in my previous life, I wouldn't have thought about in my mouth anymore. You know, now I go towards fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, um, grilled chicken, shrimp, anything that is nutritious and that's going to satisfy that urge of me wanting to eat, that's what I reach for now. My thinking has changed, my mentality has changed, the way I view food now has changed. It's no longer a comfort for me. And that's exactly what food used to be. It used to be my comfort, my salvation, my lover, my friend, the person that I hated. 
because in any given moment, whether I was sad, happy, depressed, lonely, whatever it was, that's what I reached out to. That's what I reached out for, it's food. I no longer do that. You know, I find something else constructive to do with my life, with my time, with my body. I think the biggest thing that we have to learn within our own journeys, and everybody's journey is going to be different, because we're all different. You know, we may have had the same surgery, whether it be lap band, gastric bypass, VSG, and denim switch, whatever it may be. But you have to realize that this controls this. And once this changes, then this will change. That's it. And changing my life, I wanted it so bad that I could taste it. I wanted it so bad that there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I knew that I couldn't do the things that I used to do before. I could no longer have soda, junk food, candy, sweets, cakes, cookies, pies, whatever it may have been. I knew that in order to change that exterior, I had to change my mental and once that clicked for me, once I really started getting into the nitty gritty of what this battle was about, then it all changed for me. And let me say this, it's still a struggle because I still enjoy food. I'll always enjoy food. But... Living in this body that I have now, compared to that body that I just showed you, it's a world of difference. I never want to go back. I never want to go back. Because I knew the misery, the pain of joints aching, of not being able to go up flights of steps without breathing heavy, with having pain in my back because my breasts were so large, without being able to cross my legs, without being able to just go into any store that I wanted to go into and pick up anything and know that I'm going to be able to wear this. I no longer have those issues, concerns, worries, cares, because I'm living in this body now. And I protect it to the utmost. I do what I'm supposed to do. Because I'm worth it. You're worth it. This weight loss journey is a labor of love. Just like when you have a child, when you go to school, if you're in a career that you absolutely positively love, it's a labor of love. It's something that you might not feel like doing every day, but you do it because you love it, because it benefits you, because it gives you so much potential, so much growth, so much good vibes, good feelings. That's what my journey is to me. It's my labor of love for self, self-preservation, self-dedication, and love of me and only me. And if we don't love ourselves, who else is going to love us? Nobody can love us more than we love ourselves. Question number three. Motivational quote, I say it in every video, I say it in everything that I do, every day. Rock your journey, your way. There's not one particular way 
to embrace this life. There's not one particular way to always stay on track. There's not one particular way to get your exercise, get your protein and your water, whatever it may be, other than to figure out how it works best for you, your lifestyle, and your body. Rock your journey, your way. Only you know the path that you need to take. Our surgeons, doctors, PAEs, the educational classes give us the blueprint, but we have to maneuver and find a way to rock our journey, our way. You can do it, family. I'm proof. Two years, I've kept off 105 pounds. Two years, I've been on YouTube. My first whole year, I didn't make any videos because I didn't know what to say. I was so not shy, but I just, I wanted to have a purpose. I wanted to come along with a meaning, not just to, you know, talk about just anything. No, I wanted to make my journey count for something in life. And that's why I say to Jody Jo, who made this video today, you know, I adore you, sis. I love you. I, I'm humbled and honored that you think of me as someone that's, you know, a go-to person. Because all I do is just talk about what has worked for me. You guys are the reason why I'm here. You guys are the reason that I'm two years in. It's because y'all give me so much love, motivation, and support. When I look in your eyes and I see, you know, everything that we go through within these journeys, the trials, the tribulations, the highs, the lows, the ups, the downs. It makes me a better person. Because for the grace of God, there go I. I know that somebody else can relate to everything that I've gone through within my life. I understand. I empathize. I sympathize. I know just how bad you want it. And that's the key. You have to want it as much as you want to breathe the air. As much as you want to touch the sky. This is my motivating factor for making videos for coming on, for watching your videos, for commenting on every video that I see. It's because I know just how bad I wanted it. You want the same for you. We all want to be free. Free of obesity. Free of taking medications. Free to live our lives and live them to the best of our abilities. That's why we're here. That's why I will always be here on YouTube. To give my support. To give my love. To let you guys know just how much you mean to me. In my own journey. Daily. I can't begin. And I say this all the time. I can't begin to thank all of you, all of you here on the YT who document your journeys for allowing me the privilege, the honor to watch you, to know that it's not just me that is dealing with these issues. It's not just me that wanted to have the very best in life. So that's the reason why I'm here.
That's the reason why I make videos. That's the reason why I support, encourage, and love everyone here. That's the reason why I'm making this video response tag for Brandy and for Jody Jo. It's because I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I thank you. And I tell you. You can do this. It's possible. I'm proof. You're proof. We're all proof that if you rock your journey your way, if you listen to and follow and take heed to the advice that you get from your doctor, if you get in your protein, your water, exercise, and live right. You too will be standing here victorious at goal and claiming I have the victory. All right, YT family, come on. I got your back because you have mine at all times. And for that, I couldn't be anymore at peace, at loved, and willing to say at all times this is our lives let's make the very best of it do what it is that you have to do to rock your journey your way know this family i love you i love you and i thank you and i say we are all in this together Let's make 2013 the year that we take our lives back. Making ourselves the very best that we can be. Loving ourselves to the limit. And knowing that this is possible. You know how we do. This is NYC Chocolate 7777. Love. Peace, many kisses, and blessings. And once again, you two fam, rock your journey your way.